Alrighty, now we can take our spark plugs out. You're gonna be needing a 5.8 deep socket. Um, you might wanna use the one that has rubber inside, and which I don't, so in my case, I'm gonna grab it with this. For the two mil screws there, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter deep socket as well. All right, now we're ready to lift it up. Before we replace the gasket, we want to clean this track here where the gasket is going to be resting on. So now it's time to clean this. I'm going to take the rubber off and I'm going to pressure wash it. In the meantime, we're going to replace the serpentine belt and this is a quick draw that I made so you can see like what's going on because you can you'll barely see once I put my hands in there how I'm changing it. So just to give you an idea and if you want to uh, take a snapshot of this, um, this is basically the, the path it's going to. Um, I'm going to remove the air box here so I can have more room to work with it. Now we need to release the tension, of course, and the tensioner is right here, which in our case is right here. It's like right below the oil filter. For that, you're gonna need a T60, and you're gonna go this way. The only hassle I had a little bit was at the AC side because the AC pipe was right right next to it. So you kind of had to turn it like this way to get right through it. Okay, I'm gonna start with the lowest pulley, the big pulley that you see there at the very bottom. I got first the big pulley right underneath it. And then I went to the AC, I got that right underneath. Took a little bit to finagle with it a little bit, but once it's on there, now I can follow the diagram. So I got this part here and now I'm going to come around on top and go over this small pulley and then go back under the AC. Alright, took a little bit of finagling with the AC part but uh, so now I got it underneath here going this way back to the AC and I have to get through these three here and that's the rest of the slack I have to work with to get through here. I got this much left and I'm over here so now I have to loosen up the tension again. While holding the tension it make sure that the belt is going fully into the grooves. All right let's put the rubber back on the valve cover. This needs to go inside the raised up part. And you want to make sure you push it all the way in so when you flip it over you won't have any rubber kind of like falling and then when we tighten it the rubber is pinching itself because it kind of turned on you now carefully you want to lift it up So now you want to go on a visual and feel inspection. Make sure that it didn't roll over and then you're pinching it. Okay, so for me everything checks out. So I'm gonna begin tighten the screws. Alrighty, as far as the torque spec on the screws, it's actually written right on the, the cover here. It says 8.6 Newton meter, which converts to 6.5 something like that so 
foot pound torque is what we're gonna apply and then it says plus 0 0.6 Newton meter which is also equal to like um, a half turn or 90 degree uh, turn to complete the, the screw. The way you want to tighten this down is you start from the middle so one side the other side and the other side and so on and so forth so you do this side and the other side and then you do that and this and this and that you know it's like um, perpendicular to whichever screw you're doing so you work your, your way inside and you slowly expand your way outside I'm using the lowest setting possible so I won't over torque it all right so here's using this now we can torque it and the needle is right there so that's where I want to stop you want to put these metal jacket back into each of these spark plug holes and the way you want to do it, you just push them in here. So, this lip needs to set between this and this here. So there's like a little um, track here that the lip should go into. And if you do this, it should click in. There you go. Next, we're going to do the spark plugs. And the same way I pull them out with this, with the grabber. I am gonna put them back in. Alrighty, once we got our spark plugs in here, it's time to put these cold back in there. So the cold packs are back in. It's time to put this bad boy back in there. With that back in, now I'm gonna flip all the cables back over and gonna attach everything back to the place. I'm turning the camera on and off because I don't wanna make this video any longer than it is. <laughs> 